anything. Mm. Well, a couple of fans reacted. They said, um, this guy says, guy, I prefer not to speak. This one says, December, actually, well, you know, this one, no, we'll know. You know, we'll know as they go because he was trying <laughs> to say that it was supposed to happen December. Yeah. This guy says, uh, laughing my ass out, glad I followed my heart and didn't <laughs> buy the ticket. Mm -hmm. You know, laughing. Hi guys, it's another beautiful episode on Gusto Reactions. I'm sure you guys are wondering what's wrong with my voice. I had a lot of fun this weekend. So like, <laughs> well, uh, I'm back here on the couch with Dirty Fisk. Why do you, you look me like that? Be, be calm, be calm. Go clear your truth, no, don't worry. You sure you don't need to bring up and say, don't? No, you don't be calm. You guys, if I look calm and you know clear before the end of this video, now scam. What Waiting you, wait you go do for weekend? Mm. Get to what you go do for where you what you chop? What you lick? Plate. Ah. <laughs> you say yeah, he licked plates. Okay. Anyway. Okay, guys. Ah, you like say the work. Cool. I tell you now. Well, we're back on the show. Um, a big thing, a big shout out to you guys as subscribers, you know. Keep sharing the love, keep doing what you do. We really, Always. really appreciate you guys here on Gusto. Uh moving on today, we're talking about big whiz. Big whiz. Hmm. So like whiskey has you know been doing amazing. The year is like been going very very uh, well for him. We got the bad to me visuals last week, and it was clean. it was it was seeing whiskey yeah. you know busting video, video moves. Crash, it was crash. very very clean, and we also got a snippet for the more of yeah, yeah, yeah. album, the, another track of the album. Mm -hmm. Well, it's less than a couple of days now before we get. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. No, I don't think it's going to. He has been delivering. But no track list yet. Well, well, true, 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 true. So. But then we can see happen anytime. Uh, if if it's gonna drop on a Friday, maybe by Wednesday we can still get a track list. But then whiskey is whiskey, so I'm still very I'm still quite quite skeptical about it that it may not drop. Just maybe. Well, making the wine us like that because wow, <laughs> high that's in bed was was mm. hot. Well, talking about whiskey, previously he was on the Made in Lagos album earlier this year, last yeah. year, trial last year and this year, mm -hmm. and you know. There was um a supposed day he was supposed to perform at Canada Edmonton mm. in Cam in Canada, mm. but like this guy tweeted um a couple of days ago and said just found out that Whiskey was supposed to have a show in Edmonton in January but didn't show. Nine months later, no refunds, no new dates, and tickets were like one hundred and ten or so. Wow. So yeah, the, there was supposed to be a show. Boy, no show. People, <laughs> boy, no show. <laughs> boy, no show. Wow. Well, this was like the official flyer. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Saying. I remember flyers for you no. Know, that time when he was not, when he announced it, uh, made in Lagos store. Like it was a lot of locations. Like we saw flyers of oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Remember this location was was also sold out in in Canada, Alberta. But then, like I, 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 and now I'm just remembering that wow, which is actually in, yeah, the show in Canada because of you know COVID restrictions COVID, yes, and everything. Yes, yes, yes. We had um Edmonton Expo Center come out with an official release saying. All events at okay, this was normal stuff. Nigerian superstar whiskey is headed for the Edmonton. Mm. This was uh, calling out for the show, yeah. And then the you know, the tickets were supposed to sell at 69.50, but then they posted the show had been postponed and a new day was going to be announced, but they never actually announced a new date. Wow, so and this, this is October, this is October, so wow. Right. So like, uh, what what even made the person to remember that Elmo? I don't pay one money because if it was me, I could have forgotten. Because and until I saw it, I remember that oh, that's actually true. I, know, I actually whiskey. don't think he himself bought the ticket because he said he just found out. Oh, okay. So you get mm. probably maybe somebody just made a reference Mentioned and it. like oh, this, this is actually like October yeah. nine months after mm -hmm. no refund or anything. Mm. Well, a couple of fans reacted. They said um. This guy says, guy, I prefer not to speak. This one says, December, actually, well, you know, this one, no, we'll know. You know, we'll know as they go, because he was trying to say that it was supposed to happen December. Yeah. This guy says, uh, laughing my ass out, glad I followed my heart and didn't <laughs> buy the ticket. Mm -hmm. You know, laughing everybody. Just fans basically, were, there were a lot of um, reactions, reactions, but mostly like just reactions, just mm -hmm. plain mm -hmm. reactions. Well, um, K KD says he put out an official statement. It was cancelled due to COVID and you got a refund. Anyone that hasn't gotten, didn't put in for a, a refund. refund. Okay. So this is somebody defending Whiskey now, mm. saying like, mm. okay, there was an official statement released yeah. from Whiskey's team. And, you know, as we can see from the center as well, it, the show didn't hold because of COVID of restrictions. COVID, yeah. It was just early in the year. There was still a lot of, you mm -hmm. know, people were still healing and, you know, getting back from the whole COVID mm. thing, especially when we had the... Uh, like what's it like a new variant yeah a new variant of Bro. covid so like it was a very scary it was, moment it was. so 
there was an official statement. This guy um posts a screenshot of that saying only <laughs> only curry your blind because you fire. definitely can see this. You didn't buy the ticket. How will you know he refunded mm. clown emoji? Well, this was an official statement from Risky posted on his Instagram story. He says Made in Lagos Tour Canada due to existing and developing public health restriction measures being introduced by the Canadian government. I will no longer be able to perform my Canadian shows in January. I'm looking forward to returning as, as soon, soon as, as possible. possible. Wow. Well, this was actually so the last hasn't year. Been, been, can, been to Canada like since probably that time. since then. Um, because like, you know, other dates would have well, like definitely. You know, he had, he had a couple of no days in Canada, not just you no know, this one. But uh, now, now I get the fact that probably the person didn't buy tickets. He just remember that oh, there was a certain show that was supposed to happen oh. that didn't happen and everything. Because I know that yeah, a couple of more other dates that you know were posted as a part of the North American tour as that. Then even though he has maybe most likely have, I think he has gone to Canada for a festival or so this year, but his own headline show has a show has not hasn't happened, been able to hold you know, in in Canada, and he announced that yo, it is due to you know. This reason, well, um, talking about things that also happened about this whole issue, this is um, an official statement from Ticketmaster, which okay. is like the biggest ticket platform or one of the biggest. Mm. And they said, Thanks for reaching out to us about your event. We have confirmed that the event organizer has cancelled your event. Whiskey Made in Lagos tour stated for 20th of January 2022, 7 p.m. Toronto statement read. No action is required to obtain a refund. We will issue a refund to the original method of, of payment menu. used at the time of purchase. Once funds are received from the event organizer, which is usually completed within yeah, 30, 30 days, days, please our purchase policy. Okay, please see our purchase policy for more yeah. information. Please note if the ticket, <laughs> please note if the <laughs> tickets were transferred to you, the refund will go to the fan who originally purchased the tickets the from tickets. Ticket master so no but really, i think this one was even for another show that was supposed yeah, to happen in, in toronto in, in canada also but, canada but then I, well. I think i used you no know, the same you no know, um ticket you no know, um, ticket master, yeah, tickets, platform platform to you know sell tickets for the show and they said if they dash you ticket you know they're using card pay mm. now you go get you know the refund back and i think that you know they wouldn't you know just come out to you know make statement like this for no cloud sake or for just yeah, they would have been an official definitely there's you no know, a process that would have been done and it said it takes about 30 days so uh, as of now i think everyone should have you know gotten a refund of the cash at least if they put in for a refund they should have yeah. gotten they won't say doing well to need to like you don't need to put in so automatically you so get because the show was cancelled so automatically there's meant to be like a refund so most likely people that didn't get a refund maybe they bought sales from subsidiaries in, like yeah. maybe hand to hand or, or some people party. who sold yeah yeah third or, party sales you know. and this thing mm. and they might have collected the refund but not have distributed so a they lot of back if you don't even come up for the country if you don't buy anything <laughs> Anyway. Well, um, that doesn't mean you guys shouldn't, you know, put support for whiskey because yeah, a yeah. lot of fans reacted like, "Oh, big whiskey scam," mm. you know, it's a fraud. He it does this, mm. you know. There was a show that about that happened in Abuja as well. Yeah. Some people who still brought that back. It was a lot of back and forth. Mm. But these are official statements to back at least to give more insights yeah, yeah. on what really happened mm -hmm. about the about whole the issue. Well, that's all we have for you guys today on Gusto reactions. Apologies again. Don't mind my voice. I think it's. I think if it has given, has helped me a little bit because I think my, my, I'm giving you a call. It's best thing for you to smile. Go league, but then you're welcome. It's fine. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Apologies, apologies, apologies. Please put your comment section. If you know more, if you have more insight on what really happened, put that in the comment section. And we'll see you in the next video. I remain your host, your half your host today, Salman <laughs> and Donny Fesky.